I am coming to you to give you a quick tutorial on how to make a gypsy tassel. And I have a couple of examples of gypsy tassels here. And they are on a ring that opens and you can attach them to journals or to your handbag or duffel bag. So that's one. And here is another one. Now this one uses um, fabric strips and a combination of ribbon and trim. You can do ribbon and trim only, or you can do combination or fabric. Um, I find it easier to mix in like fabric and ribbon, maybe two pieces of fabric, and then the rest ribbon and trim. The one that I'm going to do today is mostly ribbon and trim. I don't think I'm using any fabric today. So let's get started. Some of the things that you're going to need, you're going to need a glue gun. This is a high temp glue gun. I have jewelry tools so that I can open and close the jump ring. I have a ring that I got from the Dollar Tree. It just opens and closes and they come in like a 12 pack, I believe. I have a piece of twine that I'm gonna to use to tie off the tassel. I have a jump ring to hang my charm. My charm, my favorite animal. And this is going to be used to cover the twine that I tie off. So this will go over this. Some of those examples of supplies could be these pieces of, of string here or fibers. Uh, I just have a bag here of just random examples of ribbon that you can get from Joann's, Michael's, um, and I believe even Walmart. And then for the fabric, um, it's just plain fabric. You just cut it and just tear it. So it depends on the look you want. Like you'll see here, these are ragged edges. I like that look, you may not. So if you don't like that look, you'll have to cut your strips or you can just cut a, a, a line right here, a little snip and just tear the fabric. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with creating our tassel. I've already pre-cut my strips of materials I cut these at 15 inches, so it will fold at seven and a half inches. You can cut them at any length you like, depending on how long you would like your tassel to be. So I'm just going to first line up my strips and just get them even. And kind of put them where you might like them to be. You'll notice that some of my strings are a little bit longer. That's because I might tie some beads on the end of them, which I have here, and I'm not sure which types of string I wanna tie it on. So for example, I have this jute. I made it a little bit longer because it might hold my beads. So I'm just gonna place these here. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's just what looks good to you, what you think might look good to you once you fold it over. Okay. okay, so once you have everything lined up, you just find your center and fold it over. So you wanna to try to make sure that most of your ends are pretty even, and I like the way that looks. Now you're gonna take your ring, open it up, put your fibers in between, and I like to make sure that I'm covering this piece right here. So once I have my center and my piece, and I like how this is arranged at the top, then I'm gonna take this twine and I'm going to knot it. 
once I knot it, just make sure everything is pulled nice and tight. If it's long enough, I will wrap it around the back side and knot it again. So I knotted it twice, basically. So this is what I have. So I wrapped it around, wrapped it around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this extra. Not too close, but there we go. So there. There's your knot. Our jump ring and our charm and get that ready. So that's there. And most people don't have these, but these are my glue fingers. I burn myself often, so I just use these. This is going to be the piece that hides your twine. So I'm gonna put a dab of glue here, and I'm gonna kind of put it over the knot because that will give it a little extra hold and you don't have to worry about your knot coming loose. So I'm gonna put some glue there, and I'm gonna try not to do too much so it won't seep through the ribbon. So I have glue there. Put this there and hold it with my glue finger for a few seconds, just to it seals. And I'm wrapping this around tightly. All right. And I'll probably put another dab of glue there just because I don't like my projects to fall apart. So another dab and I'm pulling tightly as I do this. Now this is where you're going to put your charm on. Take my charm, put it on the ribbon. Charm is on the ribbon. So now that my charm is on the ribbon and I kind of have it placed in the center, I'm going to add a little bit of glue underneath there. A little bit of glue. Press and hold. And then I'm going to glue it in the back. So there's my tassel. I love it. Now, here's where the extras come in. Remember I said I left certain pieces longer because I wasn't sure how I wanted to attach the beads. I have these little pearls and there is a hoop on the end. But I think I want to attach it to the twine. So I'm just going to feed it through and tie a basic knot. There's nothing to it. And to me, I don't have to have my projects like perfect and neat. Sometimes I like things to be a little bit off kilter a little. And then I'll tie that one up. So there you have your gypsy tassel. And that's it. Then you can open it and hook it on to whatever you like.